name is uh, Shai Bufuseni. I'm a development professional and um, I, I work around youth and agriculture. Uh, basically, I work with young people for them to find their purpose in life and uh, to enable them to find the same jobs. I also work with smallholder farmers, basically connecting them to ready markets. Uh, in Ghana, the challenge that we have identified is that uh, smallholder farmers usually have that uh, challenge when it comes to getting ready and available markets, right? Uh, Middlemen are exploiting them, there's the issues of post harvest losses and all of that. So we created an e-commerce platform to bridge the gap. So we are more like a market maker for smallholder farmers. Aside that, we also do a lot of climate smart agriculture uh, trainings for farmers. So we design training programs for farmers so that they're able to adapt to the adverse effects of climate change. So. Um, training courses around production of organic fertilizer, yeah. organic manure, you know, among other things. Uh, so, so for me, I, I'd say that uh, young people, young people, in, uh, being a young person, presents you with a lot of opportunities. But in that same vein, uh, it's very easy for you to lose yourself if you don't really make deliberate attempts to find those opportunities and pursue them. Now, one of the ways for me that young people can really embark on transformational journeys is to think of volunteering. I cannot overemphasize the importance of volunteering, right? You, you're giving, you, you're giving or you're contributing to a cause that is bigger than yourself. And, and in this course, you do good, you meet other people who are doing amazing work and you learn from them. Then there's the, there's the part about mentorship. As you volunteer, you meet people that you aspire or you, you want to be like and then you are really able to sort of connect with them. They coach you, they mentor you and you are really able to really push or, or, or get to where you want to be. And so for me now, as a young person, if you really want to succeed, in whatever space you find yourself, open yourself to learning new stuff. There's tons and tons of information out there. There's um, there's YouTube. There's Allison. There's there are wonderful programs. There's the Yali Regional Center. You can subscribe to some of these courses to learn, to learn, acquire skills, acquire skills, and based on that skills, with a bit of mentorship, you'll be able to really reach your goal. Um, Entrepreneurship is, if, if you agree with me, entrepreneurship is all about identifying a problem and now you innovate to solve that problem. Uh, in as much as entrepreneurship is that, it uh, presents enormous opportunities. Uh, it's not always rosy. The business environment in Ghana, all of the other factors are there, but it doesn't mean that as an entrepreneur you give up. Failure is an event. I should say. What I always ask entrepreneurs is that what kind of, what, what entrepreneur are you? Are you a serial entrepreneur? Are you a one-time entrepreneur? I've seen entrepreneurs who, uh, who are pursuing entrepreneurship just to travel. The moment they travel, they put all their entrepreneurship dream aside. I've seen entrepreneurs who travel, they are outside of whatever space they are, but they are pursuing their entrepreneurship goals. In that same vein, I've seen entrepreneurs who when they get their very first funding, then they go under the radar because the focus was really on money and not, I mean, in as much as we want to make profit, but the focus is really on money and then once I've got the money, I've forgotten about the intervention or I've had a very perfect life. Now, what I, my, my real you, my, my, my advice to entrepreneurs out there would be that uh, practice agile, agile entrepreneurs, so that you are really able to learn lessons. I make mistakes, I go back. It's like project management, entrepreneurship is like project management. Go back, learn lessons, come back, improve. What did I do wrong? What can I do better? If my revenue is at 10 cities, how do I make sure that I get my revenue to 100 cities? Right? Put realistic structures in place. And also, don't think that as an entrepreneur you can do it all. That's one of the problems we have. We, we feel that if I'm not there, the business shouldn't try. Why? So if I was away for the Mandela Washington Fellowship for seven weeks, it means that my program, uh, my my business will be stuck. No, that is wrong, right? So as an entrepreneur, my advice would, for you would be put in the right structures, processes, procedures in place, and ensure that you learn lessons. When they give you feedback, you, you are dealing with people, they are customers. When they give you feedback, take it and improve upon it. Don't be defensive. 
I've seen people who are de defensive about their innovation. They don't accept feedback and eventually they fade out, right? And be agile, innovate. If you started, I, we started with an e-commerce platform. We we're gaining a lot of traction. Now we're designing uh, training courses for farmers because that training courses is going to feed into they being able to improve on their investment or increase their returns, right? So don't stick to one caveat. Try as much as possible to innovate around whatever solution that you have. Learn lessons, get feedback, honest feedback, constructive ones, work with it, improve and talk to people. We call something stakeholder mapping. You, you can't have a solution for someone you haven't talked to. If you have a headache, and I don't ask you whether you have a headache, and I come to give you uh, medicine for the stomach, how am I able to cure you? You understand? So, as entrepreneurs, let's, let's look at it in that way and understand that we're designing solutions for people, and we need to do it with people rather than sit in our own corner and design whatever it is. Thank you. For, for me, my, my, my personally, I think that my values are, are modeled around um, religion. religion. Religion plays a crucial role in my, part, in my life. I'm a very religious person. For people who know me, they know how religious I, I, I am. But in, in as much as there's religion, I also believe in hard work. I, 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 I work really hard. I work really hard. I, I do not joke with my work. If, if I set my mind to do something, whatever it is, I'll do, and by God, I'll do it. I'll get it done. And, and so for me, my, my principles are more modeled around hard work and consistency. If, I've, if I'm known for something, I wouldn't want to be known for any other thing other than that. So if you believe in me as a man of my word and that I say I'll do something for you and I'll do it, I'd want to keep that. And so it makes me consistent, right?